All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation eight to the power of x is equal to 48. So to start off, we can already tell that x is going to be a decimal because eight to the power of one is equal to eight and eight to the power of two is equal to 64. And 48 is somewhere in between eight and 64, we don't know where, meaning x is gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So we wanna find the exact value of x, meaning the exact decimal value of x. So to find the value of x for my solution, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of eight to the power of x is equal to log of 48. So now many of you may be wondering why I chose to take the log on both sides. Well, that's because logarithms come with a useful property that states that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So in other words, Right now, x is an exponent, and it's really hard to solve for x, but using this property, I can move x to the front, so now it's going to turn into a real term, and it's, much, it's going to be much easier to solve for it. So now I get x times log 8 is equal to log 48. So now x is a real term, and to isolate x, all we have to do is get rid of this log 8 by dividing both sides by log 8. So I'm going to divide both sides by log 8. So now I get x is equal to log 48 over log 8. Now, although this is the solution of x, I want to find the exact value of x. So I need to find the decimal value of x. So to do that, let's first simplify this. Log 48, I'm going to rewrite this as log of eight times six. And the reason I did this is because I can use another property of logarithms that states that if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log a times six, and this is gonna turn into log eight plus log six using this property. And I have all of this over log 8. Now from here, I can rewrite this as log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. Now log 8 and log 8 cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 6 over log 8. Now, I'm going to rewrite these two again to simplify this even more. So log 6, I can rewrite as log of 2 times 3. So now, using the property again, this turns into log 2 plus log 3. Now I have this over log eight. Now log eight, I'm gonna use, sorry, I'm not gonna use some, I'm gonna change this to log of two to the power of three. So I simply rewrote eight as two to the power of three. And now remember the first property, using that I can move the three to the front. So now I get X is equal to one plus log two plus log three over three times log two. Now, again, I'm gonna separate these using my fractional properties. So I get log two over three times log two plus log three over three times log two. Now, log two and log two cancel out. So I get x equals one plus 
1 over 3 plus log 3 over 3 times log 2. And 1 over 3 is equal to 0 0.3333, continuing on and on. But we can just write this as 0 0.333. So I have this plus log 3 over 3 times log 2. So now from here, 1 plus 0 0.3333 is 1.3333. So I have this plus log 3 over 3 times log 2. Now, all that's left is, because this is fully simplified, all I need to do is plug in the exact values of log 3 and log 2. And this I can do using a calculator because most people don't have their logarithms memorized. So log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 and log 2 is equal to 0 0.301. So now I get x equals 1.3333 plus 0 0.4771 over 3 times 0 0.301. So now this is equal to 1.3333 plus 0 0.4771 over 0 0.9030. And 0 0.4771 divided by 0 0.9030 is equal to 0 0.5283. So I get x equals 1.3333 plus 0 0.5283, which is equal to 1.8616. So this is my solution to this equation. And what we can do is we can also plug this in and check. So my equation was a to the power of x equals 48. And if I use a calculator and do 8 to the power of our solution, which is 1.8616. The calculator says that 8 to the power of 1.8616 is equal to 47.99, which is estimated to be 48 if it rounds up. So this is the right solution.